I have said before that you, you can't have a civilization that doesn't have art. When we think about the great civilizations historically, all of them had great production of culture and art because a society has to be able to observe itself. And the sophistication of the great civilizations were their ability to look at themselves. And what allows a society to do that are the producers of art and culture. It would mirror back to the core of the society exactly what is being produced at that moment, how people are thinking of themselves, and how individuals are relating to the social structure at that time. Art is the vehicle through which we understand that. Were you to take away art, what would be that mirror? How would we see what we are about? How would we understand what was going on in Paris at the time of the Impressionists when people were learning to see in a completely different way, pre-cinematography, uh, pre all of these things are just emerging and here are people looking at the world in a very different way which was considered so radical at the time, but it was one of those junctures where the way of seeing was being transformed and the artists were the ones who were fearless in representing the world in a whole new way. Just as you have now uh, filmmakers who are using all the conventions of, that we you know, developed in, during the Soviet Union and during the time of montage and Eisenstein and all of these amazing filmmakers, we are so used to seeing the world that way now. We don't even think that's radical. I mean, input, multiple inputs happening in multiple layers, that's what we're about. But at the moment that those junctures in the perception were occurring, artists were the ones who understood that. They were the ones who were beginning to articulate that in some form. So all great civilizations were able to mirror their own existence and leave us that residue of their existence. Uh, and what lasts is art and culture. That's what we have, the memory of those things.